I've been doing science experiments in my kitchen and capturing them on my smartphone camera. Today I'm going to be capturing some brilliant colourful bubbles with the help of this special ingredient. first thing we need to do is to make our magical bubble mixture. Now I've done a bit of experimentation here. Uh, your mileage may vary and some of that will depend on what washing up liquid you use. Um, I've got these little egg cups that I think are going to be quite useful receptacles. First thing is to pour in some washing up liquid. So I'm just going to fill it up maybe just under a quarter of this egg cup. You don't want to uh, a holder that's going to be too large otherwise you will use loads and loads of mixture and you don't really need to. Then just some plain water up until probably just just a little smidge below the top and then it is the special ingredient and this is glycerin. Now Glycerin is often used in icing for cakes. You can get it from any supermarket and it keeps the icing nice and soft. The impact that I find that I found it has on the bubble mixture is to make the bubbles last longer. And that's really important when you're using them as a subject for photography. You don't want your subject just to spontaneously burst and disappear. You want it to stick around for a little while so you can get a few shots of it. That's the idea. So just pop a healthy glug of that in there so it's almost full to the top. Maybe I've filled that a little bit too full actually, but there we go. And then just a little stir around of all of that. Yeah, it's just spilling a little bit, but I'll mop that up. So that is our bubble mixture made. Now it's time to set up the shot. I've got two of these egg cups. I'm going to turn one of them upside down and put the other one that's got the mixture in on top just to lift it up off the, off the base a little bit. Better height for my camera. Background. Try and keep the background clean. Again, I've just got this clipboard that happens to be a uh, dark colour. Whatever you've got that's dark will be fine for that, I'm sure. Or try a light background. Worth a try. So, that is the stage that I'm using for now. I'm going to use one of these little tripod mounts to put my camera in. I'm going to make it so that my camera is towards the bottom, just because my subject is lower down as well. Go in like that. In place. I mean, ideally, I'd be even lower than that, but I, th I, think, this, I think we'll make this work. Okay. So, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. A little bit of digital zoom in my book, not everyone agrees, is allowed just to help with focus and composition. There we go. Good. Right. Straw, just blow into the bubble mixture. Uh, probably from the bottom up, and let's just make loads of little bubbles and see what comes out for the camera. There we go, nice head of bubbles there. And just tap to focus, and that, I can see because my camera thinks this is quite low light, it's just adding, just um, turning the flash on just to help find focus. I'm just going to turn HDR on as well. There we go. Loads and loads of colours there. So let's just get a few, a few shots of that. Just position a little bit. There we go. And again, because I've got this dark background, that is disappearing. What I do have is loads of reflections from around the room, from the door there and a the skylight up there, but that's all adding colour and interest to the image. But straight away, I'm pretty happy with that. What I'm going to do, of course, is to introduce my own controllable light source. So one of these little light cubes, a torch, whatever you've got will do. Let's turn that on and just experiment, move it around. Wow. Okay. So this just adds lots more glints, lots more interest. I like shining from the side and behind. Getting too close, not so keen on that. It's almost this too much of the light there, but this is good. And notice how, because of our magical bubble mixture, these bubbles are staying in place just the nice amount of time for us to take pictures of them. Fantastic. 
One of the things that I really like about this is the rainbow colours, the oily textures that we can just see on the surface of some of the bubbles there. And as nice as these pictures are, I want to see if there's a way of getting just a bit more of those, of those bubbles and of the oily texture. So what I'm going to do, there's a few different ways that you can experiment with this. I'm just going to control the light a little bit more. So I've got some more of these placemats. I'm just going to rest those against the clipboard. So I've now created this kind of box effect just to control the light a lot more. You could get a cardboard box and cut a couple of sides out of it. That would have a similar effect. Paint it black if you like as well just to isolate your subject. And then the final thing I'm going to do is just a sheet of paper, a sheet of white paper and just pop it on top like that. I'm actually resting it on the top of the phone as well. And what this is going to do is again just to control and soften a lot of the light. Finally with my torch, it's going to shine on top. Wow. So what we're seeing now is that all of these oily patterns around the top of the bubbles, we can now see them because the light is being softened. I've created a, a DIY softbox that you might see in lots of photographers' studios here. And I'm, and I'm seeing the oily textures that kind of reflected, if you like, through the white of the softbox. The brighter the light, the more I see those textures. If I go too close in, you'll see that I kind of lose it because the light is less soft. If I go out, however, I can see lots of these oily textures. If I just zoom in a little bit, start to see them a little bit more, but I'll zoom out because I can crop in later on. And you can start to see the geometric shapes that the bubbles make and it's so great that they're sticking around for me. This is fantastic. So again you can experiment with different angles here but really on top again just keep on checking focus because we are quite close in but on top this is creating a wonderful abstract image that looks a bit like a bee or a wasp's eye but with loads of colours reflected in there. And just, just moving it around. Look at that. I want to take a video of this as well, that'd be really cool. Fantastic. I'm going to try one more thing. We're capturing lots of smaller bubbles there. I'm just going to take this off the top. I'm going to try and see if I can blow one big bubble. So what you have to do is just don't put your straw right into the water, but just put it into one of the bubbles and blow into that. There we go. So now I have a single bubble on top. Let's lock focus. Put a sheet of paper on top, just like that. Now, with the torch, shine in and see if we can see those colours. Yes, yeah, sort of. So yeah, have a play, have an experiment, try different, uh, different types of bubble mixture as well. Say the, the measurements that I've got here with the glycerin worked pretty well for me. And uh, yeah, have fun with your amazing bubble mixture. Mm -hmm.